For this one, we want to draw. Uh, we're doing number five. We want to draw the curves, uh, see where the area is that's between these curves, and then calculate it. So let's let's draw this. I will put, it's kind of wonky, but it will have to do. I will put some units over here just so that it, we can follow it somewhat easier. One, and then this is negative one. Okay, so we will begin with our first curve. Y is equal to e to the x. And it's at x equals zero. We have e to the power of zero, uh, one. So it looks something like this, right? Uh, for our second curve, and I'll just write this down, y is equal to e to the x. Our second curve, x squared minus 1, this is a parabola that opens upwards and has been shifted vertically by 1. So we just need to find the roots. Uh, we do know that the vertex is at 0 minus 1, and we just need to find the roots. So I'm going to set it equal to 0. So I have 0 equals x squared minus 1, and then I'm just going to factor this using a difference of squares. So I can very clearly see here that x is equal to 1, and also x is equal to negative 1. So these are the roots over here, and I'm just going to draw it in a different color. So it goes something like, like this, right? And then it tells us that we do have the line x equals 1 and x equals to negative 1. So we will restrict them. Um, between this line over here, this is x equals to 1, and let's choose a different color, and this line over here, x is equal to negative 1. Let me just delete this so that it's easier to follow. Okay, so this is our very badly done uh, area, and I'm just going to shade it in. So we can see that for all points here, the upper function is e to the x, and the lower function is, um, and I should have written this down, is, uh, let me just make this look a little bit better. Yeah, and this is y is equal to x squared minus 1, right? So we want to decide whether we want to integrate with respect to x or y. So if we integrate with respect to x, this means that we will have a rectangle that goes like this, um, whose height is is the upper part is e to the x, and the lower part is x squared minus 1. Now we can see that throughout this yellow area, it is consistent, right? We d our upper and lower boundaries, they don't change. Um, this would be different than if I had, say, uh, a rectangle that was horizontal, right? Because at different points, we would have different um, upper boundaries and lower boundaries. So once we've done this, let's go back to where we were. Um, this is our kind of representative rectangle of our area over here where the height the height is equal to e to the x minus x squared minus 1, and then the width is just dx, right, which is a piece of our x-axis. So once we have this, we can just set up our integral. Now, thankfully, they did give us the boundaries, um, x from negative 1 to 1, so this will be pretty easy to set up. So this is the integral from minus 1 to 1. And then we just have to put our height. So the upper function is e to the x. And then minus the lower function, which is x squared minus 1. So minus. Um, and actually should have done put a parenthesis over here. Minus x squared minus 1. And all of this times dx. So let's just clean it up a little bit. Um, and I think that we can erase this just so we have more space. 
So when we clean it up a little bit, this is the integral from minus 1 to 1 of e to the x minus x squared plus 1 times dx. So when we integrate it, this is e to the x uh, minus x cubed over 3 plus x evaluated from negative 1 to 1. Um, and then we just need to calculate our bounds, right? So this is e, e to the 1, e, minus 1 to the power of 3 divided by 3, so which is minus 1 third, and then plus 1, because we're evaluating the upper boundary, so plus 1, and then minus, let's see the lower boundary now, e to the negative 1 is just 1 over e, um, and then minus, minus x cubed over 3, which is plus 1 over 3, and then we have um, minus x, so just minus 1. So when we clean this up a little bit, this is equal to e minus 1 third uh, plus 1 minus 1 over e, and then minus 1 third, and lastly, plus uh, minus and minus gives us plus 1, right? Um, so when we express our results, to simplify this, this is just e minus 1 over e, and that is plus 2, uh, plus 2 minus 2 thirds, which will give us plus 4 thirds. So yeah, this is the, the area um, enclosed between the curves, right? The area that we draw in yellow, and I hope that it became clear to you why it is that we're integrating with respect to x. Because our rectangles consistently have the same upper function and lower function when we do draw them as uh, vertical rectangles. It would not be the same case. It would not be the case had we drawn them horizontally.